Hello humans, if you are watching this, then you survived another Roblox outage in 2020. I was actually playing Royal High with Jupiter, then all of a sudden our sleds crashed and we literally could not get out of the ground, and then Roblox went down. I blame the cursed sled. But today's not only going to feature some news, but also an interview with somebody from the community. Really quickly, let's talk about the leaderboard that we touched base on in our last video. As you guys know, we have seen signs of exploiters, and it looks like today a another exploiter has taken the top slot on the level leaderboard. It says they are currently level 30,000. The next highest player is MLP Wings Fairy Pony who has been on the leaderboard practically forever with 29,998. And I started to see tweets earlier today of everybody noticing this person climbing a little bit too quickly. So it looks like somebody else in the community had their eye on this account and they passed somebody else in the span of two days to get to this top spot. And that seems pretty quick to me. I wanted to go to the trading realm really quick just to corroborate if this was actually happening everywhere. And look, it shows our number one player is still MLP Wings Fairy Pony. So even though this new account has raced up the level board, I just wanna let you guys know, they're still showing up as the number one player here in the trading hub. So I don't know if that means anything Thing, but I hope that we can get these exploiters out of the leaderboard as quickly as possible. Again, as of now, there aren't really any sort of special rewards that you can get for leveling up besides XP and diamonds, but there's not even anything special you can unlock. So I am just a little bit confused as to the motives of why you would want to exploit the Royal High leaderboard for virtually no point. And if they're looking for the recognition of being the number one player, doing so by exploiting isn't going to give you any cool points, it's not gonna give you any credit in the game. People are just gonna be like, hello, you just outed yourself as an exploiter. So hopefully this gets taken care of soon, guys, but I will definitely have my eyes on the level board. Roblox RTC also picked up this story from my tweet, so I was looking through the replies a little bit, and um, I'm level 81, so <laughs> I definitely have never been anywhere on the level board. But somebody else mentioned that they saw more than one hacker on the leaderboard, so I'm curious if you guys have seen anything suspicious lately. Either, definitely keep letting me know. And now it's time to catch up on all of our gift opening for the Royal High Advent Calendar, and we are already on day 15 as of today. Now, both of these definitely look like some sort of weapon to me. You can tell by the shape here, this one's probably a sword, but let's check inside the box. We have so many presents. Let's open one from Singing Jaya. You always show up at the top. Cyber, hi! Hi, Jaya, thank you for my present. <gasps> I need those diamonds. I have been doing way too many trades. And another present from Quentin the Weirdo! Quentin, we're actually going to be interviewing in this video. And Quentin gave us, ooh, Quentin gave us the sword! Thank you, Quentin! So we have a sword. Is this gonna be an ax? Cause that looks like an ax. And from Kara Sunan! 10 days to Alien Christmas, he's right, it is 10 days! <gasps> and you gave me the battle ax! We are officially halfway done with the advent calendar! Can you believe it, people? And here is the most beautiful weapon of all time. Look at this battle axe. So even though it's a weapon, they still put a heart on top because we still love you. And in my other hand is our brand new sword. You guys, it is so shiny and beautiful. I think we can all agree that the real joy of this Christmas is being able to dual wield battle weapons in Royal High. And now I'm gonna take you guys to a very special interview. This is a topic that I think a lot of us need to educate ourselves on and be aware of in Royal High. So without further ado, let me take you to Quentin. And this is who I I am interviewing currently. They reached out to me and I thought it would be important to do this interview with you guys. Hello everyone. I am here for a very special interview with Quentin. And today we're gonna talk about a topic that I think is very important for the Royal High community. When it comes to inclusivity, we have noticed that Royal High has added a lot of hairs and different styles for people of all different backgrounds. And some of you guys may know Quentin from the Bluebird app, AKA Twitter. And Quentin, also I just have to point out your beautiful halo. We both are wearing our halo for today. And here's a little bit about Quentin and they actually have some things that they would like to discuss with the Royal High community. And as somebody with the platform, I am always more than happy to lend it to amplify other people's voices and talk about issues and things that are really important. And I thought that this should be talked about by a bigger creator. So today we are going to continue to talk about inclusivity. We know that Royal High has included some hairstyles to make more players feel represented. 
And we are going to take a look at some of those hairstyles now. So you can see some beautiful braids made by Pure Sweetener and a gorgeous textured afro here. There are also some braided hairstyles made by Ready the Teddy. And as you can see, they have beautiful texture. There's another group of eight hairstyles in particular that I have definitely seen a lot of people wearing, but I kind of wanted to talk about who should be wearing these and why. Quentin has definitely noticed some sort of alarming behavior in the community, specifically certain hairstyles, such as the one that they are wearing, being worn by people who have characters that are not BIPOC. And aside from the fact that these are digital, there is a lot of real life history that goes behind why these hairstyles are important for BIPOC. And Quentin makes an excellent point. For years, black people have been treated terribly for their hairstyles. They've been told that their hairstyles were inappropriate or unprofessional, which couldn't be further from the truth. And as you can see, they have always been targeted for their hairstyles. This is something we've seen culturally over many decades. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's actually very different hair types. And you can see that a lot of their hairstyles have been given the nickname dreads, which I actually was aware of this was short for dreadful and that is really upsetting and there's even a chart that tells you your hair texture based on how curly it is here's a really simplistic one but a type 1 type hair is gonna have vastly different care needs than a type 4c hair so these hairstyles were not done just for aesthetics it prevents their hair from damage and their specific hair type is actually made to withstand these styles a lot better than people with a different texture of hair for example this braided hairstyle could actually cause a lot of tension and rip out hair that is not the correct texture to be wearing it, which is why it's so important to celebrate and respect people's personal choices and understand their necessity for their different styles. Since their texture is different, their hair has different needs, and styles like these are very protective and actually help the hair stay in better condition. Now, a point I would like to make is you can even see right there on the scalp of the hair, it's even a darker shade, which definitely gives all of you guys the indication that this is not meant for a skin tone, such as the ones that I usually wear, for example. It first of all would look silly and second of all it could really hurt people's feelings. So I asked Quentin how it makes them feel when they see those styles being misused in game and Quentin said it made them feel really disappointed to see that the one thing that is specifically meant for them in game is being misappropriated. That's a really upsetting situation to put somebody in. And I totally understand how it would make you want to scream. It makes me want to scream just thinking about it too. I think it's important that we hear from people that this actually affects and who have strong opinions about it so they can educate and inform the community on what is appropriate and what's not. So since for many years they have had so many non-black hairstyles in this game, it is really disappointing to see that so many players want to wear these hairstyles that were not made for them. There are literally dozens, almost hundreds of other hairs that people could be wearing. So guys, please make sure that you're not misappropriating anybody's culture and that you're not making anybody feel offended or uncomfortable. So please keep that in mind when you are creating your OC to make sure that everybody is having a safe space where they can feel represented and included and please don't abuse things that are put in the game to make everybody feel represented because they really deserve this opportunity to be able to represent themselves accuracy without worrying about their culture or hairstyles being misappropriated. And Quentin said an excuse they've seen a lot is why do y'all get to wear our hairstyles and we can't wear yours? Straight hair is not your own culture. And if this was real life and you tried to do this hairstyle with a different texture, it could possibly damage your hair so bad that it would fall out. Basically, what I have to say to the Royal High community is please stop Stop. There are so many hairstyles for y'all. Please stop using ours. So I wanted to give a big thank you to Quentin for taking the time and being brave enough to help educate the community. I know it's not easy to stand up to a bunch of people who don't understand or who are questioning your desire to not see these items be exploited. And I think it is very important to remember that the more items that are put in this game to make diverse people feel welcome and included are necessary and that we should not exploit them because that ruins the experience for everybody and is really damaging mentally to so many people who play this game. I've heard stories of people that actually have to make the skin of their avatar lighter because they were getting bullied in servers, and that is not a community or a place that anybody would feel safe in, so we should all do our best to make sure that everybody feels validated, welcomed, and included. I also wanted to say thank you. A lot of players don't listen and they aren't really speaking about it, so I really did want to help Quentin out here and use my voice to talk about something really important. And I'm gonna go ahead and link Quentin's Twitter in the description of this video, so guys, please support this amazing community member and I'm so glad that I was able to interview you and get this message across. And remember, if you know of any friends misappropriating these hairstyles, please politely educate them as to why that is offensive and 
point them in a different direction of a hairstyle that they could actually adorn without offending anybody. Quentin has one more thing that they would like to say. Do better Royal High community. And I certainly hope that we all in the community can strive to better the playing experience for everybody. Every single player. Everybody should feel safe and represented. Again guys, please go follow Quentin and I'm so glad that I was able to do this interview. I hope you guys all found this informative and helpful. Oh, and may maybe follow their Twitter account before you go just to show them some extra support. On top of that, I would urge you all to keep supporting black developers, black creators in this community. The best thing that you can do to support the community is fund the community and listen to their stories. So if you guys are looking to do any commissions, make sure you are checking out some of the talented artists that we have. And I hope you guys learned a lot. I'm so grateful for Quentin and for all of you guys who are sharing your experiences and educating everyone in the community. Thank you for being brave and speaking up. And I'll see you in the next video, humans. Goodbye.